Hey, what's up? This is Harry Wagner from Harry's Situations. And today I wanna to talk to you about ARB's new brushless air compressor. Now, if you've been a long time watcher, you know that we did a video a while back comparing different air compressors. You probably also remember how much I like ARB's twin air compressor. So I've got one in my wife's Ram here behind me. I've got one in my Jeep. I've got one mounted in my Tundra. That's actually the one I pulled out here for demonstration purposes. And I have one in my Ram as well. So they've recently upped their game with the brushless compressor, and now we're gonna put it through its paces. So keep watching. Okay, we're gonna get in our DeLorean. We're gonna go back to 1985. That's the year Back to the Future came out. It is also the year that ARB introduced their first air compressor. ARB, famous for their air lockers, they needed a way to actuate those, and so they came out with their own compressor. Now, this compressor had a 50% duty cycle. It didn't put out a ton of air. It was fine for actuating air lockers, not the best choice for airing up tires. So that's why they made the twin air compressor like I'm running here. So I'll run this even in vehicles that don't have air lockers. I'm using it just to air up my tires because it's that good. Now, after 40 years on the market, there are a lot of knockoff products copying ARB's air compressors. You may have heard the quote, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, but the entire quote attributed to Oscar Wilde is, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery that mediocrity can pay to greatness. Now, we're not interested in mediocrity here, whether it's our tires or our air compressors, we want greatness. And so did the engineers at ARB. That's why they came up with this brushless compressor, to stay ahead of the competition. Now you might be wondering, what is a brushless compressor? A traditional compressor has brushes and a commuter that goes around, it creates an electrical field, and that generates power. Now this, no parts touch, there's less rotating parts, it's a simpler design, it's gonna last longer, it's gonna be more efficient, but it's also more expensive for newer technology. So in this case, the traditional twin air compressor retails for 640, the new brushless compressor is 999 for the twin air model. So let's get into the specs. Let's dive right into it. Uh, the twin air compressor in both of these cases is essentially a single compressor that's just mated together. So ARB did that on the traditional brushed compressor because they each only had a 50% duty cycle and they produced 2.35 CFM at 29 PSI. Now put them together, you get 4.7 CFM and you get 100% duty cycle because they're kind of going back and forth, which is nice. Now with the brushless compressor, 100% duty cycle for the single and obviously the twin air as well. The single produces 3.1 CFM. So if you're doing the math, it's about 40% more output than the single brush compressor. And the double produces 6.2 CFM at 29 PSI. So again, 40% more out of this compressor than that one. Now the current draw scales up with the compressor. So this puts out about 40% more air. It also draws about 40% more amps. You're gonna wanna keep that in mind with your wiring, uh, your wire size, routing, you're gonna wanna keep those wires short since you're running a lot of current through them if possible. Speaking of wiring, the wiring on the new ARB brushless air compressor is entirely new. It comes with a new harness. There's still weather pack connectors, but they're not plug and play with the old harness from the brush compressor. A lot of things are the same though. So if you're using an ARB hose, if you're using a gauge, if you're using a tank, your solenoids for running air lockers, all of these things are interchangeable between the brushed and brushless compressors, so no need to replace any of that if you're upgrading. My plan is to put this in my Jeep in place of my twin air that's in there. Since the Jeep, I'm often airing up and down the tires in that, it's got 37s, and I really think this is gonna speed things up. Another change on the new compressor is the bolt pattern. Uh, the physical dimensions of it are a little bit smaller, both in length and in width compared to the traditional twin air compressor. So that's gonna be good for tight spaces. Another good thing for tight spaces is they have this new bracket. So you'll notice this is slotted. It's got a quick release on it, similar to like you would have on the front wheel of a bicycle. And uh, if you're like me and you measure once and drill twice, this is gonna be really helpful because it's slotted. You can, you have a little fudge factor there. And also the compressor can move on this bracket too. It's adjustable. So really easy installation. Uh, this is, I would argue, one of the biggest improvements that ARB has made for this new brushless compressor. I love this bracket. 
You've probably heard enough of me talking about amperage draw and CFM, so we're gonna put these to the test now. And the vehicle we're gonna use for that is my Ford truck with 42 inch Nitto trail grapplers on it. This video is actually brought to you by Nitto. If you like what we're doing here, please subscribe to the Driving Line channel so you don't miss any content in the future. We're not only gonna compare how fast these two compressors air up the tires, but how loud they get and how hot they get as well. All right, let's get to it and see what the results are. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna use is the traditional brush twin air compressor that I have mounted in my wife's Ram here. Nate's Precision did this install for me. It's in the front box here of this Mitz alloy tray. Really clean installation. You'll note that the truck is running. We don't wanna have amperage draw be a, a factor in comparing these two compressors. If we had the engine off, it'd be quieter, but we don't wanna draw the batteries down and put one compressor at a disadvantage to the other if the batteries are lower. So what we're gonna do, this big 42 inch Nitto Trail Grappler here is currently at 10 PSI. You can notice it's got a nice bulge in it. This is a truck that I use for snow wheeling. I'll drop the air pressure way down to try and get up on top of the snow. And then I'll air these back up to 30 PSI. All right, here we go with the brush twin air compressor. Two minutes and 45 seconds to air up this 42 inch Nitto Trail Grappler from 10 PSI to 30 PSI with the traditional ARB twin air brushed air compressor. Now let's measure the temperature. So this started at 54 degrees. It's pretty cool in here, it's in the shade, but it's also it doesn't have the best airflow. Let's see what it is now. Only went up to 63 degrees, 10 degrees, not too bad, nine degrees. Another thing I wanted to measure was sound. The new twin air compressor, I'm curious if it's louder. It definitely has a different pitch. It sounds very different than the traditional twin air, but let's see if it's actually louder. So we've got this app here that'll measure decibels. Right next to the compressor when it was running, I saw a max of 119 decibels. So we'll compare that to the brushless compressor. All right, so we're gonna measure our before temperature of the brushless compressor. Uh, we had about a 10 degree rise in temperature for the traditional ARB twin air compressor. Uh, this one's sitting in the sun, so I would expect it's gonna start at a higher temperature. I don't know how that'll impact the overall effectiveness. Uh, yeah, so we're starting at 67 degrees. We are starting at 54 degrees with the old one. We'll see how much hotter this gets. Now we're ready to air up this 42 inch Nitto trail grappler from 10 PSI up to 30 PSI. The traditional twin air compressor took two minutes and 45 seconds. This is supposed to be about 40% faster. If we do some quick math. We should be closer to a minute and a half. Let's see. So we're at two minutes there. Not as big as a difference as I was expecting, but still considerably faster than the old brush twin air compressor. Okay, our starting temperature with this was 67 degrees. We just aired up one tire from 10 PSI to 30 PSI. Now we're looking at a temperature of... Did you get that? Now we're looking at a temperature of 86 degrees. So this went up almost 20 degrees where our old brush twin air compressor only went up by 10 degrees. Kind of surprised me given that these are more efficient, but they are putting out more air, they are drawing more amperage, so it makes sense that they will get warmer as well. Where the traditional ARB twin air compressor had external fans, this appears to have internal fans. I can hear them running now, cooling down this compressor after it aired up our Nitto Trail Grappler. So now we're gonna measure the noise output of the new brushless compressor for comparison purposes. You may recall the traditional twin air compressor had a max of 119 decibels. Let's see what this has. Pretty comparable noise in terms of sound. It is 118 decibels from the new compressor compared to 119 decibels. Negligible difference in terms of actual noise. This has a very distinctive sound. It sounds different than the twin air compressor that had the brushes, the traditional one. The new brushless compressor, I feel like has maybe a little lower tone. It definitely sounds different, but isn't necessarily any loud.
All right, hopefully you found the results of our double blind, double dummy, double ARB air compressor test to be useful. What I learned is that these new compressors are really powerful. They put out a lot of air. As a result, they generate a lot of heat. They draw a lot of amperage. But if you're looking to air up your tires in a hurry, this is the way to go. I still think ARB's traditional brushed single air compressor is a good choice if you have stock size tires or you're just actuating your air lockers. I like the, the brushless compressor in a single setup. I think that's a great bang for the buck, nice and compact and a good choice if you have say 35s, 33 inch tall tires. Uh, the Twin Air would still be my choice. I'm gonna leave it in this truck. This truck has 35 inch tall tires. I think if you have 37s, the Twin Air brushed is a great bang for the buck. And the Big Dog, the new brushless Twin Air compressor is a great choice if you have 40s or 42s or even bigger tires than that. Would you agree, disagree? Which compressor do you run? Comment below and let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this Harry Situations video on the Driving Line channel. Driving Line has all sorts of great content creators and they're dropping new content almost daily. You're definitely gonna wanna subscribe so you don't miss any of it in the future. And we'll see you out on the trail.